Easter and it's an important day in what it represents but I did some research on the origin of Easter and the whole origin of Easter and its association with the Easter rabbit actually it one one theory is that um, it comes from German in the legends. 1700s the Germans came to Pennsylvania and they brought with them the story of their version of the Easter Bunny which they called and correct me if I'm wrong anyone who can speak German but Osterhaus I believe is what they used to call the Easter Bunny and um, the story was that children would build nests and that the Easter Bunny would well the good children kind of like um, synonymous with uh, Santa Claus only bringing, you know, if you're naughty or nice, bringing the good kids gifts. So the Easter Bunny would bring the good, the good kids um, decorative eggs, and in turn they would leave carrots for him in case he was hungry from all his hopping around. Just like how you'd leave cookies out for Santa Claus in case he was hungry from all his travels. So that was that was the origin of Easter and its association with with bunny rabbits and eggs and today what you know candy and chocolates and things like that. But um, I agree with Laura Lay on her Lennon the Bunny channel in that we shouldn't necessarily associate that and think that we sh oh we should get a bunny or a baby chick just because it's Easter and they're cute because. Pets are a responsibility and they do take a lot of work. Like, I got my bunny, as you know, and I'm I'm happy and I love him a lot and I get a lot of love from him. But it, it's a lot of work and it does require a lot of time. And I, I mean, I wasn't aware and I'm still learning. And um, yeah, I'm thankful, but definitely thankful and happy that I have him. But I didn't know the amount of <laughs> like work and space. They need a lot of space. Cause imagine in the wild, like they run. They don't only they run and sprint and jump, and um, they need a lot of space. So if you don't have a lot of space and can't provide them with at least at least a single size bed area to run around in maybe you should opt for another pet like a mouse or a fish or something but yeah anyway anyway back to the topic at hand um easter and so that's what i researched the origin of easter was the, it actually came from one theory is that it came from germany in the 1700s and yeah what i spoke of earlier um the christian the christian version of easter is that Easter represents the day of resurrection or the day that Christ came back to life from the dead. So I'd like to start with a scripture and it's Romans 5 8. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that just and that actually happened on Good Friday. So on Good Friday was the day he was he was crucified and um, nailed to the cross and it was on Good Friday that he actually he died and then he came back to life three days later on Sunday which is considered the resurrection or what we know of today as Easter Sunday and um, that day is described in the scripture 1 Peter 1 3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to his great mercy, has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So yeah, that's, a, that's actually what um, Easter represents, is the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And um, I mean, even though the Easter Bunny is great and it's, it's a very entertaining like you know Santa Claus and something for the kids to look forward to another holiday and fun treats and things for them to do Easter and hunt and such it, it's actually I mean in the Christian belief is that it's when God 
It was the, it was God's plan for Jesus' mortal life here on earth. For him to, he died for our sins, and then he showed that he can actually defy death and come back from the dead in order to take his seat next to his father. And um, yeah, so the, the motto of my channel is bring joy and um, I wanted to, with, with that thought, you know, with this whole COVID-19 and coronavirus thing happening, which is why I'm not holding Bunny because I didn't want to just be breathing right on him like the whole time, just in case. I don't have symptoms, but you never know. But he will be in the videos in the future, so you can look forward to that. Um, is that, like, you have the, you have the same power that, that Jesus Christ had, and he already died for our sins, and that his, his resurrection, like, to come back from the dead, like, you possess that power as well. So you don't really have anything to be afraid of. Don't be ignorant. I mean, I'm sorry to use that word. But don't be um, naive in that, um, you know, thinking that you can't get the coronavirus and go out without a mask. I mean, by all means, be smart about it. But as far as, like, I mean, I'm kind of paranoid myself. But as far as, like, feeling fear 24 hours and falling into depression and all that, you don't have to feel that because you have the power of Jesus Christ in you and he you know he will never leave you or forsake you as the other scripture has said um, so that's just what I wanted to kind of get across and instill in you is that you possess that power as well and that if there's one person who's always gonna have your back it's Jesus Christ and I have s more stories of that to come and the reason why I believe in him um, I'm not a like a Christian where I go to a church but I do read the word and I do fill my mind, heart and spirit with him and um, yeah I believe, I definitely believe and he showed his he showed his power and his way in my life more than one time and I'll, I'll probably end up showing sharing those, those stories as well okay thank you for listening